Hey guys, so um, on our writing lesson for today, um, we're finishing up uh, the main part of our writing. So we're getting to the point where you've done your introduction, you've done your three points that you're trying to present, and then each one of your points has supporting evidence pieces and you got your conclusion. That's kind of your wrap up. That's kind of you're restating your position again and you're giving everybody kind of like your, your you know, this is why you need to do this. So that's what you're finishing up on, on today. You should have um, maybe your introduction. You probably need to have three to four sentences, but each one of your points, you need to have five to six sentences in each paragraph and then your conclusion needs to have about four to five six sentences in each paragraph okay so that way we have enough information you have enough supporting pieces to make a really good strong uh, persuasive essay okay so this is the one that we have been working on and while you're doing your writing you need to be looking at everything with your um, editing and revising, okay? Because that's where you look through your, you should read this aloud even, because as you're reading this aloud, not just to yourself, you might notice, um, you might not notice spelling errors, but you will notice if it doesn't sound right or if it doesn't look right. Like my first sentence, have you looked around and seen garbage at Park Lawn? I could say, you know, that starts with a question. That's a good question. But if I wanted to, I could maybe really try to jazz it up and say, have you looked around and seen all of the garbage at Park Lawn or something along those lines? I can maybe make a little bit of change to it. I'm, again, I'm trying to draw in my reader in this um, paragraph. So maybe they haven't seen all the garbage. I don't, I don't know. I thought Park Lawn looked really clean. It is, but we can do a lot better job. And that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to do in my revising and editing. You're reading aloud. You know, have you ever looked around and seen all of the garbage at Park Lawn? If so, you should think about having more recycling at our school. If I notice something there, like, well, that sentence didn't go right, or that sentence didn't uh, make much sense, I can then change it. I can go back and add a little bit more to it because, again, you are the author of this. I am your audience. If you have a parent or an adult read your essay, they're your audience because you want somebody to really come to your side of thinking. You're passionate about dogs. You're passionate about um, sports. You're passionate about um, not having bullying or those things. You want somebody to feel the same way you do. So that's what you need to do when you are doing this, okay? So make sure that you read through each paragraph Make sure that you read it out loud. And then you need to make sure that you have the number of sentences and paragraphs too, because I've, I've seen your work. Many of you are right at the end of being done. So do your editing and revising. And if you need to, you can highlight something. You can go here and say, I don't really like this first part of my sentence. You know, I'll highlight that for me to go back and look at it later. But you're revising and editing as you're going. And some of you have been doing this as you write. I find that easier to do for me is to write a couple of paragraphs, and then go back and do it. And then at the end, go back and revise and edit it all together because now you have everything that you should have in there. And if something doesn't look right, then you can um fix it and so that's what your job is today is to fix all of your your mistakes especially if it's a capitalization if you have 
like Park Lawn. That is that's a name of something, and it's two le- it's two uh, two words. So the P and the L need to be um, um, capitalized. Beginning of a sentence, I. Recycling has the R. So make sure you have everything. I know because what we're going to be doing at the end is you're going to record yourself presenting this on like on Seesaw. You're going to record yourself. Granted, you're going to have this to read, but you still have to have something to read uh, by. And this needs to be the best that you can do. And because I've seen a lot of your work and you guys have done really, really good. So remember your introduction. This is how you're gathering everybody in. So kind of start with a little story or maybe even give a little mini story. Um, State your position of what it is. Like, that's why I said, have you looked around and seen all of the garbage at Park Lawn? And then I even say, I have seen students and adults walk by trash and not pick it up. And so that's a little story. And then I state my position. I feel that there should be more recycling at Park Lawn. And I can change that up. I can say something like, I feel that there should be more recycling programs. Um, Or I can say there should be more recycling um, facilities like trash cans or different types of recycling. I can put that here because that's my point. That's my position. And then at the end, that's where, you know, these other two paragraphs, two or two, I'm sorry, these other three paragraphs, that's your points. And then you have your ending where you are basically kind of wrapping it up with a, a bang. You want them to, your them, you want your audience to remember what you said. Okay. So continue the great work and do your revising and editing today. If you get done with that, this should take you some time because you have a lot of writing to go through. If you happen to get done, you can look at possibly even doing um, some of your publishing. In your packet, there towards the middle, there are some um, checklists for your um, for your writing. So for your persuasive speeches, there is some checklist that you need to go back and um, look through. We'll do that um, in another lesson, but you can already start doing that while you're revising and editing. Okay. Keep up the good work and now we'll talk to you soon.